Hi programmers, welcome to Gil Geekify. My name is Saeed Kohansel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. In this video, I will teach you how to create a live table editor like Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets from scratch, using HTML, CSS, Core PHP, Vanilla JavaScript, and MySQL database. With my live table editor you can edit your data and database directly from an HTML table in real time without any page refresh. In the client side, I will show you how to use JavaScript Fetch API to make network requests, and in the server side, I'm going to show you how to create PHP Backend REST API to connect with database and handle your requests. It's a video about full-stack web development and database, so we're going to connect front-end to back-end API. I'm using JSON data and REST architecture, JavaScript object notation, JSON, is a lightweight data interchange format that is readable and easily parsed by machines. JSON is based on a subset of the JavaScript programming language. Representative State Transfer, REST, is a client-server architectural style that uses the HTTP protocol in a simple and effective way. Systems that adhere to REST practices are often referred to as RESTful interfaces. RESTful interfaces use the HTTP methods, get, post, put, delete, and so on that web browsers use to access web pages. It's all the work we need to do on the front end or client side. And it's all the work we need to do on the back end or server side. Let's import dummy data to MySQL database using phpMyAdmin. I have a database called Live Table Editor, also a SQL backup called Fruits List. You can import it. It's my dummy data. Let's create all files we need, index.html, style.css, live-editor.js. An API folder with index.php. And db-config.php db-config.php file is my database connection with CRUD operation. You can get it from my GitHub page. Okay, now let's connect to Live Table Editor database. I have a video about how to create PHP object-oriented CRUD system using PDO extension and MySQL database from scratch. You can watch it. Okay, let's start from scratch with HTML. I'm using Bootstrap, Google Fonts, and Animate.css. Animate.css is a library of ready-to-use, cross-browser animations for use in your web projects. Great for emphasis, home pages, sliders, and attention-guiding hints. I will use it for my pop-up notification. I have a div element with notification as its ID, 
a table with six columns, and an empty T body tag with table dash group dash divider as its class to get data from API and display data inside the table using JavaScript. Okay, we have an empty table with bootstrap default styles. Now let's add some CSS. I think there is no need to say anything. Content editable style is applied when you want to edit each cell or better to say when you focus on each cell. And it's a pop-up notification element. I display this pop-up to the user when a cell has been successfully updated. I hide it by default and show it by JavaScript when the API response was true. I have a CSS background animation code inside my clipboard. I paste it here. I use it for the body tag. Very nice. I think it's cool now. It's my pop-up notification element. Okay. Now let's code JavaScript. First I will show you how to get JSON data from the backend API and display it inside the HTML table. I make a fetch request to my API with the get method and my API return data in JSON format. Then I'm going to display all of the data inside my HTML table. Now let's create a JSON API with PHP. Let me open the API URL. Well, I import the database connection and class and set the JSON as my document content type. With any GET request to my API, I will select all rows from my table called fruits underscore list. Then I return the data in JSON format to the client as response. Let's check the API with a GET request. Very well, as you can see it returns all of the data we need as JSON from database.
Okay, now let's check the HTML table. Very nice as you can see we have all of the data in the HTML table which means the front end and the back end are working fine. So in the front end we are sending a GET request to the server and getting the responses JSON. With a for each loop I display the result inside a tbody tag with a class called table group divider. And this is how I display each of rows inside the HTML table. In the back end with any GET request I return all of my data in JSON format. OK, we have an HTML table that returns and displays data from the database by an API. Now let's add cell editing feature. First, I add a one second delay to run these functions because JavaScript needs to handle the table for me. I mean my display data function in the above. I get all of the cells from the table and with a for each loop adding the same actions for every one of the cells. When the user clicks on a cell, the cell is going to convert to edit mode. So when the user double clicks on the cell, user can edit the data inside the cell. And the JavaScript on input event occurs when the value of a cell is changed. Now I get my required data from cells to target and update database rows. The JavaScript parseInt method parses a value as a string and returns the first integer. In this section, I should add two features, first, editing cells option for the HTML table, and second, sending new data to API by JavaScript fetch and updating the database rows. I set headers for the fetch request. I set data for sending to the API, and I get the required data from my HTML DOM. The JavaScript JSON.stringify method converts a JavaScript value, object or array, to a JSON string. OK, now I define a request options variable with the post method, headers, and body. Let's make a fetch request to the API with these options. It's a post request. I get the pop-up notification from HTML DOM. By the return status from the API, we can do something. I want to show my pop-up when the data has been updated from a cell inside the table, and this is how I'm doing this. These classes are coming from animate.css library, it's so simple. For each updated cell, I display my pop-up and after 2 seconds, I will hide the pop-up. Let's test my cell editing feature. Very nice. Now let's define the post request actions for the backend API. This if statement means any post request to my API. In PHP you can access raw post data and display it like this. You can try it yourself with a tool like Postman or other API platforms by sending post request with data to your PHP API. Now I define variables from the required data. I mean received data from JavaScript, 
As a hint I should say that in this section you can add your custom validations for each of your data. For example, you can define a validation to only accept integer for ID, or a minimum and maximum length for other data, or more validations. Let's update the database with a try and catch block in the JSON format. I will return a true boolean when the row is successfully updated, and return a false boolean when the row isn't updated for any reason. And this is how my API is going to handle the post requests. Now let's make some tests. You can double click on each cell and edit it directly from the database in real time and the pop-up notification is working fine, very nice. Also you don't need to refresh page to update any data, you can live edit your data. If you enjoy my content please like this video, click the subscribe button, and turn on notification for future videos, also if you have any questions about this video please comment it for me. Thank you for watching this video, now let's do some dancing.